Aloha and welcome. The day is finally here. Southwest Airlines has just begun selling tickets to Hawaii from the mainland of the USA. Well, technically that day was yesterday, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you eight things you need to know before flying on Southwest to Hawaii. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. This is part of my series on Hawaii. I've got a whole bunch more other videos on Hawaii, including Oahu, Maui, and Kauai. You'll find links at the end of this video or in the description below. But without further ado, let's go on to the first thing you need to know before you fly southwest to Hawaii. And that is what the routes are. Southwest is gonna be starting service out of two cities in California. These are the two cities that tickets are currently on sale for, and they are San Jose and Oakland. The first service starts from Oakland to Oahu beginning March 17th. They'll then be adding Oakland to Maui about two weeks later. Then they're gonna start service from San Jose to Honolulu, and then San Jose to Maui. Southwest plans to add service to two more cities in California, which are Sacramento and San Diego, but they have not announced the dates of when those cities are going to start flying yet. Also, Southwest plans to service one additional island in Hawaii with direct flights from the U.S., which is Kauai. The second thing you need to know before you fly Southwest to Hawaii is about inter-island flights. So Southwest, in addition to having flights from the mainland to Hawaii, is going to have flights in between the islands. They're launching the first service on April 28th. They'll be launching Oahu to Maui, and then a couple weeks later, they'll be launching Oahu to the Big Island, which I'm actually pretty excited about this service because there's been a monopoly on the Hawaiian Islands for the last few years. Hawaiian Airlines is the only carrier that flies in between the airlines currently and so Southwest will bring some good competition for those routes. For the routes they're planning from Oahu to Maui and the Big Island they're going to be offering service four times daily so four round trips between those islands and when they offer the flights to the Big Island well now you'll be able to connect from California to the Big Island through Honolulu. The third thing you need to know is about the fares. How much is this all going to cost? Well Southwest their introductory fare sale which is all pretty much sold out right now for the initial flights. They were offering $49 flights from California, San Jose, and Oakland to Honolulu and Maui. Yes, $49 each way. That's $98 round trip, less than $100 to get you to Hawaii and back. That's pretty amazing. Those fares were available Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but as I said, the thing was so popular, they are all pretty much sold out. So what's left for fares? Well, it depends when you're going. If you're going in the spring, Spring, they're a little cheaper if you're going in the summer they're a little more but think something like two to three hundred dollars each way if you're booking the cheapest fares though I will say these low price fares Southwest is famous for them and so I would expect these low price fares again on future fare sales when they introduce their new routes from Sacramento San Diego uh, and to the other islands so stay on the lookout for their fare sales I guarantee that some of the cheap fares will return maybe not as cheap as $49 but Southwest is pretty famous for offering really rock bottom fares. The inter-island flights from Oahu to Maui and the Big Island, they start at $29 one way. That's a pretty good deal. Those cheap fares are still available. The slightly more expensive inter-island fares are $39, $49, and $59. So the prices on the inter-island fares don't seem to go up quite as much as those ones from the mainland do. Now, Southwest offers their fares in three classes. They offer what's called a wanna get away fare. These are these cheapest fares that we're talking about. The wanna get away fares, they are non-refundable. They're typically these fare sales with advanced purchases. They also offer an anytime fare, which is refundable, and a business select fare, which gets you early boarding in their earliest boarding groups. Now, if you wanna know the prices for anytime and business select, well, well, in the summer, I picked a random day in June, the anytime fares, which are the refundable fares from California to Honolulu were $599 one way, $624 um, if you get the business select ticket. The want to get away fare those same days was about $300. So about twice as much to get the non-refundable fare. For the inter-island flights, the anytime fare was $159 and the business select was $179 on that same day to go from Honolulu to Maui. You can see when those want to get away fares sell out, then the ticket prices get definitely more expensive. But really the good part about all of this is that even though some of these cheapest fares 
Airs on Southwest are sold out, most of the other carriers that fly to Hawaii are lowering their prices because of it. Actually, for the last 60 days, you could look and see, historically, the airlines will already lowering their prices in anticipation of Southwest coming into the market. But United Airlines, Alaska Airlines, and Hawaiian Airlines have lowered the price of many of their flights from California cities to Hawaii to be about that $300 round trip range. So whether you're flying Southwest or another carrier, this will be good for you from a pricing perspective. The fourth thing to know is about seating and seating on these flights to Hawaii will be the typical Southwest style, which is open seating. There are no reserved seats. When you get on the plane, you just grab a seat, assuming somebody isn't already sitting in it. When you check into Southwest Airlines, they assign you a letter, A, B, or C, and then a number, one through 60. And then when they board the plane, they essentially line you up in order and then board in that order. So the tip is, if this is your first time flying Southwest to Hawaii, make sure you check in online exactly 24 hours before your flight. That's the first time you can check in. If your flight's at 2 p.m., you should be sitting in front of your computer at 2 p.m. to hit that check-in button to make sure you get an early boarding group. Otherwise, you might be sitting in those middle seats by the bathrooms, not good ones. So make sure you check in early to get that early boarding group to get the better seats. Your other options, if you don't mind paying a little more, you can pay more to get early check-in, and you can also pay more of those business select tickets to get that A1 to 15 boarding, meaning that you're guaranteed to be one of the first few on the plane. The fifth thing to know is about luggage. One of the great things about flying Southwest, and it applies to their flights from the mainland to Hawaii and also inner island flights, is that your luggage flies free. Well, that is your first two bags fly free, which if you look at the price of the Southwest tickets compared to the other carriers, United, Delta, American, I'm talking about you, and Hawaiian, those fares typically don't include any bags. So make sure to factor the fact that you don't have to pay to check in your bags into Southwest as part of your calculation. Though if you are taking a surfboard, they will charge you extra for that. It's $79 to check in a surfboard. If you're bringing a boogie board, the boogie board will be considered one of your pieces of luggage. Also, if you're bringing pets, unfortunately Southwest does not allow pets to Hawaii unless it's a service animal or emotional support animal. The sixth thing to know is about food. Southwest famously does not serve food on their planes, just peanuts or pretzels. And these flights are not going to be any different. Well, the one different thing is they are going to be offering a new snack bag that'll have some additional snacks, but they won't be selling food. They won't be serving meals. The flight time is five and a half hours from California to Hawaii. So make sure you eat before or bring some food on the plane with you. They will be serving some new drink options. Uh, they have some Minute Maid pineapple orange juice. They have a coconut spiced rum and they have a new Hawaiian beer that they'll be serving on board. The pineapple orange juice is free, the alcoholic drinks will cost you. The seventh thing to know is about entertainment. Southwest, they don't have any screens, this and that, but they do offer Wi-Fi on board. Wi-Fi is $8, $8 for the entire length of the flight, and they will be having Wi-Fi over the ocean, gate to gate from California to Hawaii. Uh, you can get free entertainment via your iPad or Wi-Fi enabled device. They'll have free live television and they'll have movies you can watch, but Southwest does not have any in seat power. So make sure if you're watching on a phone or iPad, you bring an extra battery pack so you can keep watching for the full duration of the flight. The eighth thing to know is about the future. What's the future hold? This is just the beginning of Southwest service to Hawaii. Um, you know, people have asked, are they gonna fly to Los Angeles or San Francisco? Likely not because Southwest likes to serve underserved markets and LA and San Francisco are two airports that have a lot of competition out of them already. Southwest has hinted at Las Vegas as another city that they'll be planning flights out of. But I will say if you are planning a flight to Hawaii, if you're planning a trip here in the next few months and you kind of have dates locked in, but you don't have your flights locked in, I would encourage you to make your hotel and rental car accommodations now because all these additional flights to Hawaii, they're gonna bring more visitors and while flight prices are gonna go down, there's a limited number of hotels and rental cars. So I would expect those prices to go up. So book those things before it gets locked in and you are priced out of your hotels because everybody else has already 
booked them. And the last and final thing that you should know is that I've got more videos on Hawaii. Whether you're heading to Oahu, Maui, or Kauai, I've got videos on all of those places. You can click these links to my playlists for Hawaii and some of those islands, or you can find a link in the description below to those playlists. My master Hawaii playlists are one for each of the islands. Well, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.